Studios. How are you guys doing today? How are you doing? We are having morning coffee. It's like really in your face. It's a huge cup. I guess I shouldn't put it that close to the screen. <laughs> Don't put it that close to the camera. Morning coffee. It's it's getting a little um, older, but it's a big one. I am terrified to think of the number of calories that are in this one coffee, but... I'm not a Starbucks regular anymore. I love Starbucks, but I just don't like paying that price. So, um, it was a treat. I usually suffer with McDonald's coffee when I'm at a coffee creamer at home, which I am again right now. Haven't had time to go to the grocery store and do not intend to go alone. I'm not doing it. My husband's been super busy working really hard on this job, like every day. He didn't even get a day off this weekend, which was Memorial Day weekend. He works Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Poor guy. I feel bad for him. So, um, yeah, we haven't been grocery shopping in a couple of weeks now. It needs to happen. Maybe like three. Ugh, it's terrible. We need food. <laughs> we need food. Uh, okay, so first, let me apologize for the hair. It's terrible. I'm having a really bad hair day, but I didn't plan on going on camera or going anywhere except the post office. And so I didn't really do my hair this morning. It's just kind of bleh. Bleh, it's there. I have hair. I could be happy for that. But yeah, it's not it's not cute. Not even a little bit cute. It's not even trying to pretend to want to be cute at this point. But I went to the post office and there was lots of envelopes. So now I have to sit down and do a mail haul for you guys because I want to see what's in them. I want to see what's in them. And I refuse to open my mail off camera anymore because y'all should get to see my first expressions. My first, um, yeah. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, those things. Because I know I make some crazy faces, so y'all might as well get to see them. So I'm hanging out here on my table. I got the Molly Pop. That would be my doggy. Her name is Molly, and I don't know why lately I keep thinking, you know, like lo Molly, Lolly, Molly Pop, right? Molly Pops. Her name's Molly Pop right now. Um, it changes. It changes. Sometimes it's Molly. Molly instead of Molly, and then she's Guac Molly. Uh huh. Yeah, we're kind of weird around here, but right now she's Molly Pop, and she's hanging out on my table with me right here. I'm petting her. That's why I'm moving. Um, she wasn't feeling very good yesterday. She ate something, and I'm not sure what. Maybe a plant or a weed out in the yard or something. She was out in the garage, like shop yard. Because my husband's a contractor, so we have the big garage and we have the big shop yard. She was out there yesterday, and maybe she ate something that affected her a little pharmacologically because um, she wasn't okay yesterday. She was really out of it. She looked a little bit like she'd, yeah, like she'd maybe... If I didn't know better and know that I haven't, like, had any medications out I, or have dropped a medication or something, I would think that she had taken, it, like, picked up one of my pills or something off the floor because she was a little weird last night. But much better this morning. She slept it off, whatever it was. Whatever it was, she slept it off. She was great this morning. But now this is her nappy nappy. She's lazy right now. So she's laying on my table because I just, I don't know, I feel like I should keep her close and just keep an eye on her because, you know, because, just because. So today, I got mail. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight envelopes in my P.O. box. Exciting stuff. I love it when that happens. So the first one comes from Stacy. She is definitely a part of the Crazy Island Family Facebook page, and she is part of the napkin swap. She's in one of my groups, and there's a... There's a lot of napkins in here. I'm pulling them out right now. Here we go. So she has sent me my napkin swap stuff. Ooh, I really like this black and white one. I was just going to like fan them out and show them to you because if I show you every single one, this video is going to be a half an hour long again. And I'm trying to be a little more reasonable. So beautiful napkins. And then some of these. Oh, the, there's another short one. Ooh, that's super cute little bird cages. Yeah. And then bird house. I'm going to have to do a bird page now. Look at butterflies and flowers and prettiness. And I'll probably take a photo and post a photo on um, on the Facebook page, on Crazy Island Family Facebook page. Um, just a quick plug. If you're not a part of the Crazy Island Facebook page, you ought to be. I do have my fan page, which is Crazy Island Studios. But there's not as much places on there for you guys to post, like your photos and talk and, and chat with each other. So I started the Facebook group, which is Crazy Island Family, which is just awesome sauce. Y'all should be there. Check it out. Because um, 
it's good stuff. We're having a great time together over there. So this comes from Rose. And <laughs> I love all these plain envelopes. I said something about plain envelopes and how it makes me not feel so bad that my envelope was plain. I love love the painted envelopes that you guys send me and I save them I do they're in my happy mail binder up there behind me and I will be using bits and pieces of them without the writing on them because I think they're awesome sauce but it makes me feel a little better that some of you at least send plain envelopes so I don't have to feel bad because I did send all of my um, napkins off in plain envelopes I was running late I didn't even put extras and take time I'm trying to get into this plastic my these napkins are wrapped in plastic um, I didn't even get into like making them super cool because, um, there we go, oh, why did I suddenly have such a problem with this one piece of tape? So um, yeah, mine went out in plain envelopes without any extras and I felt kind of bad so you know, this makes me feel a little better. Makes me feel a little better. This is another one of the napkin, oh and tissue paper swaps. So these three are tissue papers and I love them. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful peacock on this napkin. That is incredible. Like, I'm going to have to learn. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, that's terrible. I'm going to have to learn how to incorporate some of these napkins in my pages with these beautiful photos and, and images that are on them to keep them instead of just a background because that's gorgeous. And I do know that um, we are one of our first month's videos, if you want to subscribe to our journaling crazy island style, you'll get to see how PETA uses a beautiful napkin image in her page as an like a main element. So um, if you haven't signed up for that, there'll be a link down below so you can go check it out. There is a free Meet the Artist video over there that you can look at. Um, and then you can subscribe if you want. We're starting June 1st. Super excited. So, okay, here's some more. I love those leaves. Those are pretty. And then... This one is like, um, what's it called? French, like a uh, toile, is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, and this one is all is like old ephemera stuff. This is really cool to save. And then I got some larger napkins with some different patterns. Those are beautiful. I hope those are in frame because I wasn't, I wasn't peeking over the side for those. And let me, I want to keep these all together so I know who they're from for at least for a minute least for a minute. Okay, what do we have in here? This one comes from Michelle. Michelle. And I got a little bit of fun. I got a little bit of fun. Ooh, that's duct tape. I don't know if I'll be able to save that. That stuff sticks to them. Oh, it's coming off. <gasps> nope. I'm not gonna, I may have to pull that off and just glue it onto something later. Alrighty, more napkins from my napkin swap. I don't always remember everybody who's in my group, so if one of you is an extra person who decided to just send me some napkins as part of the swap even though you're not in one of my groups thank you because I don't remember who's in my groups I have two groups for the napkin swap I have two groups for the flower swap and then I also had the group for the ATC swap and I've forgotten all the names I have to go back and look at them because I can't keep track so these are a couple of tissue papers this one's like a cellophane wrinkly shiny iridescent that's so cool love that one and then oh lots of goodness lots of goodness i'm gonna kind of spread these out just a little bit so that you can see the patterns there's some birds butterflies prettiness Ooh, zebra we all know i like the zebra oh and i missed one more little one with the leaves for fall and then here's a cute little oh it's folded big one that's polka spotty i like polka spotty oh, another peacock Oh, peacocks must be popular right now. I love that. That is so pretty. I like peacocks. Works for me. Okay, let's see what we have in this one. This one comes from Michelle. I love that the little um, labels covered up. Why, why am I even covering your name? Covered up her address for me. <laughs> I didn't know that they usually did that. That's very strange. Oh, I have cute butterfly duct tape on the back in here I don't know what's in here it is a present it's a present it's presents it's got string let's see I have to figure out how to tie this so I don't waste the string because oh it's so cute I'm gonna use it again going to use it again somewhere somehow I'm going to save this look at cute red white and blue string can you see it it's so cute oh, put that 
there. Okay, I have a card. Give me a second so I can read it. Um, yeah, I'll show you the front first. Oh, very cute little handmade card. Very cute handmade card. Okay, let me read it real quick. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so um, she sent me a really cute card just thanking me for it. I'm itchy. Ugh. Thanking me for the Facebook group because it's awesome. Like she said in her note, and I, this isn't terribly personal, so I hope this is okay that I shared. She didn't have a place before to get together and chat with other artsy, crafty, artsy type people. So if you are in that same position, you really need to get into the Facebook group. We accept everybody. Oh, I'm so itchy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, if you are like totally need to like have a group of supportive people or just a group to hang out with who like art and like artsy crafty type stuff you ought to be over there on the Facebook group and sign up join and have a great time with us because we're having a good time together and you could be a part of it you could she sent me a postcard a beautiful postcard from Louisiana that is so very pretty. I love that. And oh, ho, 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 robots. I love robots. Let's turn them this way. Oh my gosh. I love these. Ooh. Oh my gosh. They're teeny, teeny, tiny little envelopes. <laughs> How cute are those? Those are so cute. <gasps> no. Oh, this is super cool. Look, it's a library. The other thing that, that, that some of y'all. Some of you might be so young, like my kids are familiar with public library, but public libraries and they used to check books out and you used to have to fill out this card. They didn't scan them like they do now. That's so cool. She sent me a, she sent me a few of those. Those are super cool. I love those a lot. And then this really way cool envelope. It's an envelope. It'll make an adorable pocket on a page. I like it. And then I think... Oh, if I'm not mistaken, this is deli paper. I love me some deli paper. Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm bugging Molly now because I'm crinkling. Oh, poor thing, right? Check this out. It says London. This is like, is this looks like London um, classifieds, but it's on really thin tissue paper. So if I use this for collage, the white part of the tissue paper will just melt away and you'll just see the words and that is just awesome sauce. I I love that. I love that. You have cool stuff, Michelle. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, this is tissue paper. I'm trying to figure out how it unfolds. This is very cool. She sent me some really nice tissue paper. This has, like, stamps from all over the place. Um... I'm trying to tell if you actually stamp this yourself, but it looks like it might have a touch of a pattern. So it looks like this was pre-printed, but that is awesome sauce. I love it. Ooh, there's more, but they're all different patterns. I thought they were all the same. They're all the same color. Look at this one. The flowers, and it's got music notes on it. And then there's this one. It's Paris-related. So it says Paris the Eiffel Tower and then there's this one that's all music notes that is so awesome I'm super excited to use some of this <gasps> lucky 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 we got gator skin it's alligator crocodile I don't know but it's coolness it's tissue paper it looks textured but it's not that's really kind of cool because um, the hidden texture like flat but looks textured is so, so kind of cool for a journal sometimes because you can put stuff on top of it and it sticks. And then this is a piece of paper. Like, I don't know, can you see it? It's braille. It's braille for crying out loud. That is so cool. Oh. I'm showing you the wrong side. No, I'm showing you the right side. <laughs> like, am I showing you the wrong side? I'm showing you the right side. So, yeah, I'm trying to turn this so you can see the bumply bumplies, but that is super cool. I wonder what it says. I wish I could read Braille, and then I would know what it says, but I don't know. And so next, I have something from Teresa. This is, I believe this is Sweet Sea, so it's a business address. But Okay, so this is the envelope. So cute. And some of it's folded over. I don't want to mess it up. 
slide these out. Oh, I think this is part of my flower embellishment. This is the handmade embellishment swap that we are doing over on the Crazy Island Family site, which is one of the other reasons that you definitely want to get in over there. It's easy to keep up with the swaps over there. I'm going to hold these up with the white paper behind them so you can see. These are so cute little doodly flowers and they're double layered. These are adorable. These put my doodle flowers to shame. <laughs> to shame. And they're all doubled. Look at how cute those are. I love these. I'm an, I'm, gonna, I'm going to have a lot of fun using these in my journals. I know it because they're just so adorable. I can't wait to get the rest of the flowers. Look at this big honker one. Look at that one. Ooh, I dropped it on Molly. She doesn't care because she's just napping on my table. Look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? I like that so very much. Yay. Mine are going to go out soon, I promise. Um, I have to finish making them. I haven't finished making them. That's a bad thing. They should be done because they're supposed to be mailed out in like three days. <sighs> I should get to work. This next envelope comes from Rhoda and it's so pretty on the front and then there's some cool tape on the back. This looks like, it looks like maybe handmade washi tape. It's hard to tell if she painted that or if it came like that. But either way, I like it a lot and I'm going to try and peel it off very carefully so I can save it. This envelope is packed tight. Let me see if I can get this out without, there we go. Didn't want to damage anything. Okay, hold on, I have another card. <gasps> the card, look, ooh. I keep saying hold on and then I want to show you. Pretty matching the envelope. Okay, now hold on while I read the card. Okay. So, Rhoda wrote me the sweetest note. Thank you so much. And I remember you panicking, I believe, if it was you who mentioned it on Facebook, panicking about getting me as a member in your swap, which is just as sweet as can be because they're concerned about, you know, being new to art and art journaling and things and then getting, you know, me. I don't know why because I'm not all that awesome, but knowing that you're sending your stuff when you're really brand new to somebody who's not brand new I guess could be totally overwhelming and um, just so you know oh my gosh you had nothing to worry about because these are adorable oh my gosh and um yeah way more than the 10 10 that you were supposed to send way more okay first off she sent me a gazillion uh, and I mean a gazillion because I can't even get them all into my hand at one time. A gazillion punched out. Ooh, I'm dropping them on Molly. Oh, I'm dropping them all over Molly. Flowers from different types of printed paper. These look to me like maybe the tattered flowers die cut from Tim Holtz, which I covet but don't have. And because I don't have a die cutting machine, I bought the uh, Silhouette, so it's, a, it's electronic. So there's different styles of flowers in many different types of paper. There's some um, music paper, it looks like some dictionary paper, and there's about a hundred of these. I don't know, there's, there's a lot. And a bunch of different little ones and sizes, and I could totally stack these. She's giving me the option by sending me all of these that I can like layer them either together by themselves for lots of really cool words and I can embellish them myself or distress them a little bit all myself. So this is really good. This is a huge stack, far more than the three to ten. So I'm counting that as like a bonus that she sent me because she actually sent me too many of these too. You're awesome. You sent, you sent too many, but thank you so much. There are, okay, these cute, adorable, I'm trying to put it in front of my face so you can see cute little flowers and there's like a handful of those in different colors and then there's a whole bunch of this shape flower all painted or colored in some way it looks like maybe watercolor some things markers or pencils I don't know they're beautiful though or paint I don't know they're beautiful though look so many so so many and my nose is starting to run that's terrible so I was itching it and then there's a few of these really big ones and those are so cool and I'm so excited I love them all thank you thank you very much um, okay so last little envelope I still have another envelope this is from Rita 
and she has a page, a uh, Facebook, no, a YouTube channel called Rita Marie. I said it wrong last time. I gave you her first and last name, but it's actually Rita Marie. If you're interested, she has some really cute art on there. Some nice videos, and I'm, again, trying to get the stuff out without bending it too much. And this is just a gorgeous painted envelope. So pretty. And then on and... On the back is this cute flower, and it has my initials on it. So I tried really hard to get that off at the open without ripping it, because whatever you tape that envelope shut with, um, yeah, it was shut. I'll tell you, it was seriously shut. So, these with printer, photo paper, and alcohol inks. Oh, that was nice to know what they're made out of. Photo printer paper, printer, photo paper, and alcohol inks, which means... The e and this is a great use for, and I have saved a bunch of mine from my old photo printer that I don't use anymore because this, my new one doesn't take these plain pieces of um, photo paper. Mine actually takes the ones that have a top and bottom that you have to break off. So you have to use the kind that it uses. Unfortunately, I have a, t well not unfortunately, but I ended up with a lot of these extra just 4x6 photo papers, but they're glossy, which means they will take alcohol inks like coolness, which I will now show you. And I'm going, she sent me a white card so I can show you. Do you see the awesomeness that can come from the glossy paper and alcohol inks? Maybe I'll do a video on this for you guys. But these are just so, so pretty. Hearts and stars. Like, how do you know? I'm like a little kid, you know? I am. And there's a couple more. And a couple more hearts. Because I still love hearts and stars like I did when I was in elementary school and doodled them all over my binders, you know? Hearts and stars. They're good. And then I got this adorable little tag. Look at that. So cute. So cute. And a little envelope. Oh, a little envelope. It has my initials. What's in the envelope? There's more. There's another note. Oh, sweet, sweet little note. Thank you very much, Rita. You're awesome. She calls me talented. She's talented. You're talented. I love your videos. All right, let me see here. I don't get to watch all the videos that I really would love to because I am so, um, so busy all the time. But I would love to watch more YouTube videos. This is a cute little, um, got a little bit of hand painted on the corner card with some ribbon wrapped around it. That is way cute, and I love those little bits so much. And then, oh, this is adorable. So stinking cute. Okay, so this is the back. The back is adorable. But look at the front. Oh, it's got a cute little girl. Look at her with her big pink bow. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look. Look. Says you are creative. That is so cute. Let's see. She's thought of you, so I thought I better send it to you. <laughs> That's so cute. She says she made it and thought of me, so she thought she better send it to me. I appreciate it. And okay, alrighty. So my next one envelope is so cute with all the washi tape on the back. I'm gonna try and pull that off. Gonna going to gotta work on that. Okay, so I am freaking out just a little bit because this comes from C. Frazier in Marysville and it is full of amazing, I mean amazing stuff and unless there's a card, I'm not going to know who you are and I feel terrible because I remember a lot of first names. I try. I really do, but I tend to forget the last names, and the only Fraser I remember is Susan, and that's not you. Um, I tried looking up, I actually left my studio because it's bugging me. I went and looked up um, trying to find a member on Crazy Island Family, or in my circles on Google+, and nothing. Uh-oh, some of this stuff fell. So, um, I can't find you to find out who you are, you sweet, sweet friend. Because I don't know, um, your first name's not on here. It's killing me. Please, 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 please tell me in the comments below so I can thank you by name. Because, oh my gosh, this envelope, I just dumped it out. Molly is now surrounded by amazing stuff. There's so much coolness in here. I don't even know where to start, and I feel really bad that I can't thank you properly 
in my opinion, by name because I don't, I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure who you are. I feel really bad. I feel really bad. But I'm going to show the stuff that you sent because, oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a bunch of these little, they've got to be tissues. They're teeny. Look, there's just so cute patterns. And they, they, they were just smashed in here with all kinds of stuff. And it doesn't matter because, you know, when you glue them down, they're going to get flat anyways. But there's pretty flowers and rainbow things. And then there's pretty, these other pretty flowers. I went too fast, didn't I? Did I just zoom right past the screen and you can't see anything? They're just so cute. They look like those little tissue packs size, right? For the little pocket tissues. What a cute, cute little bundle of goodness. Yay. And then as I started pulling things out, things started falling out everywhere. There is a sh like a roll of washi tape. Like, oh my gosh, it gets me so excited. Look. Ooh, flowers. Flowers. Okay, and then there's there's another one. <gasps> it's butterflies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love butterflies. And oh my gosh, look at look at look at look at look. Butterflies. This is brand spanking new. Either that or you are the cleanest stamp user I've ever seen because my stamps are all black. Not pink anymore. Look at that. That is so beautiful. I actually don't know that I I don't think I have a butterfly stamp. Thank you very much. Thank you. And oh my gosh, look at this one. Beautiful flower stamp. Like these are wood mounted stamps. These are so cool. Thank you. And then there's just doodads galore. So we're going to, I'm, I'm trying to keep this video at a reasonable amount of time, but I'm so excited. I don't know if it's going to happen. Pretty lace, pretty lace and some cute little, is this called Rick Rack? Is that what it's called? Cute. That's going to be adorable on a journal page. There's goodness falling out everywhere. Okay, what else do we have? Um, on the grid. Oh, okay. So a little notepad of little grid graph paper. Actually, I really like that. I really like that. And then there's some nifty stuff. There's boys in funny little bathing suits. <laughs> That's what they look like to me. So funny little caveman bathing suits. Men used to wear these in public. I mean, well, like, you know, wrestlers or trapeze artists or whatever they are, they actually used to wear that in public. Poor guys. Poor guys. Um, let me see. Little cards for my smashing and my art journaling. And oh my gosh. Fortune teller cards. Look at you. You. And this nifty old playing card. Look at that. That is super cool. And another one. I love these. Oh my gosh. I have like boring playing cards. You have these. That was a horrible noise. I'm sorry. I scraped my fingernail on something. These are really cool playing cards. And then a big chipboard thing that says good stuff. This is full of good stuff. I'm praying there's a note in here somewhere that tells me who all of this came from because I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at the little pinwheel. It spins. It actually works. That's really cool. There's little bits. I'm trying to catch some of the little bits. I can show them to you. There's like um, these little, they look like almost like a Scrabble tile. And then little numbers. There's just little cardboard. Little bits. And then there's this cute little cherries. Look at these. Cute little embroidered or macrame or knitted I don't know the right word oh my gosh cherries cherries with a stem that's so cute so it looks like the monopoly guy kind of well okay you know you know anyway so cute this is duct brand which means this stuff is now sticky fabric sticky fabric peel and stick there's a couple pieces of that there are these adorable little star pocket like puffs um, like, uh, origami puffs. Origami puffs. There's pink and blue. So cute. So cute. Okay. Pictures. Are these pictures of you? This would make me so excited. Oh, <gasps> shit is pictures with her. She's wearing the glasses. Look how cute. You're famous on YouTube now. <laughs> In the glasses. How adorable. I love, love, love. Okay, and then this nifty little green foil key, which is just is too cute for words. And oh, look, look at more washi tape. Oh my gosh, more washi tape. 
exciting envelope here. And, oh, well, now, who could be a princess without the crown? I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. And this super cool little key. Look at that. And it's flat on the back, so it'll actually stick on a page nicely. That is very cool. And some really nifty dice. Are these like dice? These are cool dice. They're like cards dice. And then, what else have we got? There's more. There's still more. There's a couple more little metal doodads. One's a gear and one's a little flower. And I love metal doodads, just so you know. And look at that little bird cage. So cute. And this little card in a language I don't speak. And then another one. These are like pogs. And then... How cute. It says so puzzled on the puzzle piece. That's just adorable. Just adorable. And then, ooh, ooh. These are canvas, canvas stickers. Like, I can paint these. I could spray these with my inks or play with my distress paints and make them my own, but they're canvas stickers. That's very cool. And then, I got a bunch of papers, but this one's extra special because it has all these little Florida lees. Am I holding them upside down? Some of them, yes. <laughs> Stuck on there to use elsewhere. How super cool is that? And there is just, like, I mean, a ton of really cool printed paper. There's, like, yeah, folded up pieces of whole paper, 12 by 12. There is this incredible, awesome map paper. I have a thing for maps. I love it. Look, can you see? I'm trying to see, show you. There's just, there's just one page after another, a whole stack of yummy goodness in paper form. I'm so excited. There's still more. I thought that was the end um, after the paper, but there's still more. There's more of these little cards. And then there's these, oh, these are cool. There's like three of these really cool compass papers. They have nifty stuff on the back too, but the front is like an embossed compass and some, what is that, paisley paper bits. I love torn bits of paper. Look at that one with the butterfly. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to die. And map paper. I love maps. My battery's dying and trying to get this finished before my thing actually dies, but there we go. More paper. If it dies, I'll, I guess I'll charge it and come back. More paper. There's so much. Goodness, so much goodness. And stars. Oh, and more of those compasses. That is so cool. And oh my gosh, more canvas stickers. This this is like the envelope that never stops. Another roll of washi tape was hiding under all that. Wow, how did you fill out this in one envelope? There's still more. Made by me. Okay, please tell me that there is information. Oh, no, uh This is a necklace. This is jewelry. Oh, heck yeah. Looky there. It's a chevron. How sweet is that? You can't see it now because it's on a long chain. Hide my other necklace. Pretty. Pretty. Oh, my goodness. Look. Look. Oh, okay. Oh, oh before my battery dies. You know what? I'm just going to have to charge it because I have to show you guys this stuff. If it shuts off mid-sentence. Look, it's the matching bracelet. I'm trying to smooth it back out so you can see. Is that so stinking cute? It's pink and black. I love pink and black. I have the necklace and the bracelet and I love it. Made by me and I don't know who me is. This is killing me. You have got to tell me like who you are, send me a private message, tell me here on Facebook. I don't I don't know. I have to or here on YouTube. I have to know. Look at this one. Oh, it's just beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't believe all of the amazing goodness you got into that one envelope. And you sent me jewelry handmade. I am so excited. So excited and and I like it. So it, which is even better. So cool. Thank you very, very much to all of you. You sent me my napkins and my flowers. I love my flowers. I'm so excited. Um, I hope mine are going to live up because, man, mine are kind of simple. <laughs> mine are kind of simple for the flower embellishment swap. But thank you. Thank you so very much for Happy Mail. You guys make my day. It is like Christmas going to my post office box. It truly is. So, um, 
yeah, if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, please head on over there and check it out. There'll be a link down below. If you want to get in on journaling Crazy Island style, which you don't want to miss out on, it's going to be great. We're going to have weekly prompts. I'm wiggling my table. I'm sorry. We're going to have weekly prompts and weekly video tutorials. You want to check that out. There'll be a link down below for that. Check out the subscription. Again, you can watch the free Meet the Artist video on the site before you subscribe cancel any time so it's not like you're under any obligation except for that first month that you sign up check us out see it's gonna be good I promise um, you definitely want to subscribe to me here on YouTube so you don't miss anything please hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up let me know if you like my videos at all it's nice to know I like to see the thumbs up and if you want to comment talk to me about anything let me know guys yeah, leave me a comment down below I love talking to you guys it's one of my favorite parts of my day is checking my YouTube to see what new comments I have. So be sure to do that. And what else is there? You can always follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All those links will be down below. Everything if you want to get in touch with me, my P.O. box, my email address, you can send me a note. Whatever you want, want to get in touch with me, you always can. And I love talking to you guys every, well, not every day, but I wish I could talk to you every day. Ooh, I love talking to you guys as often as I do, that's for sure. And I love, love, love everything I got in my happy mail. Thank you so much. And C. Frazier, tell me who you are. Tell me, because I feel like I should know. I feel like I should know. Like, it's right there on the tip of my brain, but I can't pull it out. And that's pretty normal for me. I have a really big problem with that. So please make sure that you let me know who you are. I'd love to thank you like properly, but thank you so much for everything that you sent me and to everybody else who sent me happy mail and my swaps mates stuff. I really love all of that and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.